How's it going, everybody? It's Gorilla Man back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video. And in today's video, guys, we are going to be doing another uh, barn find fold restoration. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a good one. Um, right here on the left, as you see, we've got our 911 Turbo S here. Uh, this is the last one we just did. It was pretty good. Came out, came out looking pretty nice, I would like to say. Uh, the gray ended up being a really, really nice color. Black rims, you know, just fantastic. But besides that, we're going to be doing another one. I'm going to save this here just in case we get a bad one. Uh, but here, let's go in to our barn. Or to our barn find. Let's see. So we got one in the bottom left hand. And let's hope that it's something good. Alrighty, here we are, guys, at another barn. Looking pretty good. And, oh, it's a big one. Here we go. Well, bam. What do we got here? Salem Flamo, Flamo, Salem Flamo, Mitsubishi Eclipse. Okay, it's okay. Oh, and then we got a Salem Spectre Fastback 500. I don't know if I've ever worked on the 500 version of this. Oh, it's got the same front grill as a Mustang. What's the price? 25000 You know, guys, I think we might take this. Yes. All right, we bought that one. Let's check around here. Any other goodies we can get? Um, nope, nothing there. Nothing here. I'm looking for cases, guys. Looking for cases. Really, no cases in here. Gearbox. No, Ferrari, Ferrari tail lights though, just chilling here. Oh, there it is. There's usually a case about every one, so there we go. All right, we got the case. Let's go on back. Let's open the case up and let's take a look at our new car. All right, guys, I'm back here. Oh, it's like a, it's like a teal. This is a very interesting color, I must say. So it's like a greenish, almost tealish. Not quite teal, more, more of a mint green. But there we go, guys. Here it is. 498 horsepower at its prime. Well, here, we'll just test something out here real quick. Let's just... Let's see if she starts. Yep, that's a... That's going to be a big old nope on the starting situation there. Mm, could be in the fact that it has... Bad spark plugs, missing a spark plug, you know... It's probably one of those couple of issues there and the battery's also dead so that's fine okay um in that case let's move this bad boy up here to our main lift the lift that gets used much more than any of the other ones if this guy to get up here in the air okay so uh plan 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 We'll take out the engine first, and we'll get the engine going and fixed. It's going to be a supercharged. I think it's. we don't really want to change it off that, do we? No, it looks like this will probably be the fastest one. A double carb overhead valve supercharged motor. All right. It'll be good to go back to the roots, the older, older stuff. No ABS on this or anything. All right, well, let's get it up in the air. Yeah, we'll probably be able to tear this thing down pretty quickly and put it back together. And we're going to do a full restoration on this one, guys. So, no performance pieces. Um, actually, no. You know what? We'll do performance pieces on this one. Because this is a 500 horsepower motor. So, I'm sure with a little bit of uh, TLC, it could definitely be pushing 700 horsepower, most likely. Alright, well that's done. Let me break off these exhaust pipes. I think that's good to go. Oh, hey, it's missing its oil pan. That's probably another another large reason, reason why it's not uh, starting. Okay. Let's pull this bad boy. See, it can sit right next to our portion. It can just admire the portion. and be like, mm, I'm going to look like you someday. Let's pull that out. Make sure this is good. Okay, that's good. Add an engine to crane. This one. All right. So, oh, I can leave that there, actually. At first glance, it's a pretty beat-up motor. I think it's, what, it's probably, like, 30% total overall. But, you know, it's not too bad. 
Um, really quick, I'm gonna bust through a teardown here, guys. Um, I'll just uh, time lapse this real, real quick. It won't take me long. Um, so give me just a second, and we're gonna tear this thing down. And there we go, guys. I tore down that entire motor. It took me about five-ish minutes. Uh, not too bad, though. Not too bad at all. So, let's see. What did we manage to save? Not the engine block. That's something we did not manage to save. That's a pain. But let's go get one. So, I have pretty high hopes for this motor, guys. It's going to be, I'd say, pretty pretty strong in the end. I'm um, gonna grab this. Uh, we're gonna grab all the necessary stuff. I'm not sure if we saved every piece of it, um, but we came pretty close. I know that. Uh, we can pick up an alternator. Then we can also pick up pistons. Eight of those. And then I can also do V8 overhead valve. We can get the camshaft. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else. We're going to want these heads, of course. Where's the other? Get the manifolds. Uh, let's keep looking, keep looking. Don't need that. Okay, then we're going to get... Piston. Eight of those. And then we're going to want our ignition. I'm trying to go through and buy as much as I can get right now, guys. Get the cap. Uh, what else? There's wires to it, isn't it? Pretty sure there's V8 wires that go to this. I'm going to pick those up just in case also. Uh, any other performance pieces on this? Maybe a few others, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. There you go. Get the good coil in. All right. Then did I actually grab the quick camshaft? Hey, we did. All right. And the crankshaft. All right, now it's time to see if we manage to save all the bearings. I think a lot of the rod caps we also saved, but I don't think we saved all of them. I think we maybe saved two or three. I am not going into this expecting us to have all these. Okay. I'll just fly through all these. I know these are all correct. Oh, maybe we actually saved all the rod caps. So it was very, very, very unlikely that we managed to save every single one. But hey, look at that. Oh, I think we had a few left over extra too from one of our last builds. Yeah, I think we had one or two left over. Hey, it was enough to make sure we had enough for uh, this build. So I'm pretty happy. All right, now we need oil pan and an oil filter. So let's just go into main shop and hit this up. Uh-oh. How, how did I spell that wrong? Oil overhead valve. There we go. This and this. And then the bottom end of the engine will be done. Pretty uh, quick and painless on that end, I'd say. The worst part about these motors, as you guys know I've said multiple times, is the rocker arms and the uh, push rods. Absolute most hated part for me. I hate it so much. Okay, let's see here. Um, so pieces that we're going to need next are going to be fuel filter. Um, we have the heads. We even managed to save the other heads too. I'll probably take uh, take those and sell them because you won't really need them. 
Oh yeah, I think this thing's probably gonna surpass 200 horsepower here, guys. Or 200 additional horsepower here, guys. Um, I think it. I don't even. I don't even know where to say it could stop. But probably 250 will be the maximum. Um, clip. Get out of there! Dang it! That thing was in my way. Okay, so clip B. Check. Um, let's get these. No, no, we can wait and see if we actually manage to save these parts. Mainly because I'm not sure. I am not sure. Um, oh, hey, we did save. Never mind. How far will it let us go with this? Oh, we still even have the supercharger. And then we need four bell carbs, which is fine. We can go get those in a minute. All right. Oh, whoa, get out of there. What are you doing? Do I have performance spark plugs? Weird. Forgot to get those. Uh oh, wrong shop, wrong shop. Okay, we can get eight from here. And then the other thing I needed was a fuel filter and pump. Then what else can we get? What else can we get? Think, think, think. Uh oh, rocker arms and uh oops, sorry about that. Rocker arms and valve push rods. I think I think there's non performance parts there. I think. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Rock, rocker. All right, we'll get 16. I wish these ones came in sets on one, but no, they don't want to. Uh, overhead valve push rods. Okay, so this one's just a stock one. So we'll get 16. All right, then that should be good. There we go. So I got the spark plugs. And we got all of our push rods. So I'll just go through. Slide each and every individual one in here. Uh, after this, after we get the heads done, probably move to uh, transmission, clutch, all those things. And then front timing and we should be ready to go. Except for our scoop that we got to throw on the top. There. Oh, and it's really nice though. This, uh, this motor, this not motor, this hood for this uh, Salem Spectre Fastback 500 has a cutout in the hood, which is really, really nice because I could have used that on Dom's uh, uh, charger, but I wasn't able to because for some reason they didn't give me the option. But this is a Mustang. Or it's not, it's not a Mustang, but it looks more like a Mustang. So not really an option for us on that one. I don't think I have the steering pump yet. There we go. Let's pump all these in. Spark plugs. Oh, hey, if it actually lets me stay zoomed in this far, it's a lot easier. Usually, usually when you click on a... Uh, dang it, it did it. Yeah, so usually when you click on a piece here, it'll zoom you in really far and then zoom you out. Maybe if you're quick enough on hitting enter, it's fine. Oh, and then you, if you screw something in, it makes you do it. It's a shame. Right, ignition wires, sweet. It's a good thing I didn't have to do ignition coils because I didn't have any. I hope we save the cover for this one. Yeah, no, this is just this this part right here that we're doing is just the worst part about this. Uh, but that's really it. Not everything else about this motor is pretty simplistic, pretty easy. Uh, I guess the, weird, the other weird part would be the fact that the camshaft's all the way down in the base. But other than that, that's really it. All right, so let's get timing chain and our cam gear. Okay. Where's that at? Where's that at? There we go. Our big timing chain for our V8 overhead valve. It looks like these ones. Oh, I'm on it. There we go, and we need a cover also. You're on the right page for the cover though. There it is. And go over here. Uh, 
There we go. We can pick up a few extra pieces in the meantime. No AC in this bad boy. Okay, so we need water pump and crankshaft pulley. So let's go here. Which one is it? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what water pump I'm looking for. I know I need that. Okay, I'll just skip this and come back. I'll have to look up the exact name. And then crankshaft fully for V8 red valve. Okay, so it's just a V8 water pump. What the heck? V8 overhead valve water pump. Look. Oh, it was over there. What am I doing? Bottom left hand corner. Alright. I'm surprised they don't make you do a thermostat in too when you do this. Okay, so we save. We have some belts. Serpentine belt B for V8 overhead valve. Team belt B for a V8 overhead valve. Belt A. It's a lot of serpentine belts. There it is. Then we're gonna stay on that page because I know we're gonna need one more part to, I think drive. Yeah, I said drive this part. Serpentine belt. A for V8 red valve. I saw that one right here. What was it? It's not this one. It's like a triangle looking belt. There it is. Alright. Oh, radiator fans at 1% too. That's not good. I'll pick up this radiator just in case we don't we didn't manage to save it. Um, but you know, it's not the worst thing. It's a couple bucks. All right, now we're going to snap back to this backside here and pick up all of our performance pieces for the transmission, which include flywheel, uh, clutch, and clutch pressure plate. And then we should have, I think we have remaining clutch throwout bearings or release bearings, whatever you want to call them. Um, I think we should have a few remaining. Performance one in there. Hey, we have a ton. All right. And then up here to the four bell carbs and then scoop. And I think that's it. It's a four barrel. Um, let's see. Air filter. So looking for, I don't think it's the, it's not the round. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me put these on and then it'll tell us. It's not the round side ones. Those ones are with the side exiting, uh, intakes like the uh inline four for the jeep willies someone wants just the scoop air filter and for some reason the scoop air filter doesn't have any performance ones which is weird i don't know why they wouldn't all right then is our scoop still good hey we got a plus one quality scoop i'll take it all right guys and there we go there is the v8 overhead valve supercharged motor let's get that installed in this bad boy here oh we there we go she is pretty she's shining it definitely having that hood that has the hole in it and yeah it definitely brings it all together just a wee bit better oh fits perfect like a glove but we're taking the hood off anyway so it doesn't really matter so there we go guys there is the first part of this car uh, next episode, we'll be doing everything from suspension, wheels, painting, interior, exterior, uh, body panels, you name it, we're going to do it. And I think this thing will be good. I think I'm aiming for more of a uh, uh, 1969 uh, Shelby GT look. Uh, basically, if you guys know the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, the, the car from there, Eleanor, we're going to be trying to make this one look like it. It looks a lot like it already, um, but I think with the correct gray on it and everything they like the gray silver and the correct uh wheels 
we should be pretty close it definitely has the body style of it which is fantastic but if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like down below and if you guys aren't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all the videos but anyways thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next car mechanic simulator video